This is a place that likes to be quiet. Welcome to Eden, Wyoming. It's like any other small town. Everybody goes to church on Sunday, everybody eats at the same diner, and it only takes one sheriff to keep order. The mayor knows every one of her constituents, and her son delivers all the mail. It's a place to hide and start a new life, to lay low from the government, and everybody's in on it. They follow the rules, they stay safe, and nobody gets hurt. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, a rainy edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. This time we're talking Postal. Finally, after so long, I decided to give it a shot. And after so many reviews and other YouTubers doing reviews on Postal and talking about how great Postal is, I said, you know what, let's let's go ahead and read it. And I did, and it I, I don't really know what to think of it. It's good, but... You know, it's one of those things. There's only like there's only four issues out of 24, 25 issues total, or something like that. So I can't form a solid opinion based on the first four issues. But what I can tell you, if you don't know what Postal is, aside from the beginning portion of the episode where I talked about Eden, Wyoming, and how it's this paradise, this suburb of greatness, and you've got this character, Mark Schifron, I hope I said that last name right, Mark is the postal man. That's why it's called Postal. He delivers everybody's mail and he's got Asperger's syndrome. And I do know that people are worried about the portrayal of individuals with uh, autism. L listen, there are all walks of life and nobody acts exactly the same way. And I have friends that are autistic and I know people in that uh, and, and I can tell you that it's done respectfully and it's done quite interesting because Mark is very smart of course he has social issues the way he interacts with people and, and plus the fact that he's a postal worker which means he has to interact with people on a normal basis if he's gonna be delivering mail also there's the fact that he can open the um, uh, letters if they're too damaged and he can recreate them and all that stuff so he knows a little bit too much about everybody in the town of Eden. Aside from the whole suburbia utopia for the bad guys aspect that this book is trying to sell uh, to readers, one of the key aspects of the book is Mark's uh, portrayal and the lengths that he will go through just to prove his point and just to prove that uh, what like his initial hunch was actually correct and you see that at the beginning when he busts a uh, drug operation if you will with some bad guys and him being the son of the mayor you know comes with a little bit of privilege because she is going to take action but she isn't exactly fond of the character of his son for a very specific reason which you find out later on in the book and i'm not going to spoil and gives us a protagonist that is very unique to comic books. Mark, like I mentioned, is really smart and he is very attentive to all the details and everything that is happening around him when he meets several other characters, like the waitress at the diner and just taking notice of the way she speaks. And it's just uh, really smart writing, in my opinion, with presenting a character that is not so obvious and subtle. Uh, and that's not really his fault, you know, his condition. Uh, people are like that. And um, it leaves out everything in the open, which is pretty interesting for our story because we're so used to characters being quite reserved and hiding things. And you've got this uh, character that's really quite gentle and trying to live out his life as best as he can and knowing that he's got this uh, syndrome and not everybody's going to understand and he knows that he'll put people off so it's really sad that uh, you've, you've got characters insulting him but at the same time it's kind of humorous because of that very same treatment 
it allows them to study and memorize uh, the way people act and behave and that can help him solve things and can further move the plot along you know eden wyoming is a very interesting place this is uh masquerading as this utopia this place you can go and lay low and start a new life and just run away from your problems when in fact uh, when the murdering begins and all that stuff this is a very violent place as evident with the punishment dealt by an offender, and it's not the type of punishment you would be expecting from a regular town so yeah, this, uh, it's safe to say this is a messed up uh, city that we're dealing with. And the story kicks in when there's this, uh, the, the town's first murder in so many years. And I won't reveal the situation behind the murder because that's sort of the whole plot of the thing and what really kickstarts the story. Uh, but I can tell you that the characters are fantastic. They're really well written. It's a very intriguing story. It's this crime noir, sort of like this Fargo-esque uh, series, but in comic book form. So if that is what you're into, then you're going to have a blast reading Postal, because it is fantastic. I really enjoyed it. The characters are really well written, like I just said. And the story, even though the premise of this um, perfect uh, place filled with bad guys that want to lay low, and everybody's in on it and living the good life, if you will, it seems real. It seems like something that would happen in real life. And that's one of the things that I appreciated about the first volume of Postal. Now, people tend to say, like, this is the best thing since sliced bread. I, I don't, I, I cannot tell you. But I will be reading uh, a series and I will form my opinions on it. But for now, uh, based on these four issues, then yeah, I can tell you wholeheartedly that Postal is probably one of the better titles that Image has ever put out. It's that intriguing, it's that uh, mysterious, and it's just ripe for a live action adaptation, I think. Matt Hawkins it has done a really cool job creating this aura of suspense, of mystery, and intrigue with these characters that have double lives. Everybody is in there for a specific reason. They are There are characters that are hiding the truth from the reader and from other characters and you get attached to someone and they'll reveal another side to them and it's stuff like that that keeps the intrigue going that I think will uh, make audiences or readers I should say uh, come back for more of the story. Now the art in this is done by Isaac Goodhart and I must confess I had no idea about the art in this book or the artist it's my first time seeing his artwork so it's not my cup of tea. I don't necessarily love the art in the book. You'll get some really cool drawings and panels right there. And then this zoomed in face or, or, or fisheye lens technique that sometimes is being utilized on the characters, expressions and all that stuff. That really sort of bugs me out a little bit and takes me out of the story just a tiny bit. So that maybe that's why I don't like it as much as other titles, but it's still great. It looks fantastic regardless with great usage of somber tones. This is not a go-lucky, a happy-go-lucky town. It's hiding a dark atmosphere and you feel it as soon as you start reading the postal book you start feeling this sense of dread and the creative team just knocked it out of the park this is a prime example of great writing great characters a very very somber grim and gritty tone that works so if you want more of that i highly recommend postal guys as always thank you so much for following me for liking, commenting, subscribing here at A Week in Geekdom. As always, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform, or if you want to send me an email, I'll everything, all that stuff, is it, it's down below. I've got to go. I'll catch all of you on our next video.